the Japanese were first settling in the Santa Clara Valley, photographers would travel to the farms where they worked and take pictures. Despite the agricultural setting, dress was usually formal. The pictures were to be sent back to Japan. For many lonely Japanese bachelors, these pictures served as an introduction. Prospective brides, if they liked what they saw, would agree to come to America to be married. In 1907, a Japanese farmer named Sakaway bought a piece of land in North San Jose. Today, his son raises pears on that same land. North San Jose is considered lowland. When my dad first came here, he told me that there were the ducks here all summer long, there were tules. We had artesian wells, uncontrolled artesian wells. And they would flood a certain lowland area. And you would have these little minnow sticker backs and pollywogs and frogs and ducks, geese, snipes. All sorts of games existed north here in San Jose. When Edward Sackaway's father first came to this country, he could neither read nor write English. For identification, he used his thumbnails. Being a carpenter, he missed a nail and hit his own nail, so he had a badly split nail on both hands. So if he'd go to a store in town and he wants to cash a check, let's see your right hand, let's see your left hand, and this is okay. In the bank, he would go in the bank and show the tellers both thumbs, everything is okay. Today, the Sackaway orchards are surrounded by concrete, and their days are numbered. In 1915, the most serious threat was from insects, and the battle was fought with the original hand sprayer invented by John Bean of Los Gatos. Well, this is the way we used to do way back in when I was a little boy in 1917, 1918. Of course, I was six years of age when he first put me on to uh, operate this ring. We uh, had it on a low bed wagon and uh, uh, we used to put the chemicals in here and we stir with this hand and then pump with one hand. But I was, being a youngster, I was unable to pump with one hand and stir with the other hand, so I had to use two hands to uh, pump this thing. While my dad took the pole and was would be spraying the trees up and down. But what well, was, man, when I was pumping here, it was a very hard job because you have to continuously pumping or my dad would say, hurry up, put, we need more pressure and I would have to go faster and faster. That's quite an, an old antique and I don't think I'd go back to it today with the modern speech sprayer we have. <laughs> 